What's going on y'all? Welcome back to the channel. Joe here from Lazy Lab Acres, previously Blue Line Woodworks in case you're coming from the last cornhole board video that I made. It's about time that I show you guys how I paint the things. Um, I haven't made a set, honestly, in I think almost two years, so I just haven't had the ability to film the process. Um, I've got a set going right now for a family friend, so I'm going to show you how I paint them and I am using a new technique utilizing the laser. You don't need a laser though. I'll show you a similar method. You will need a uh, like a vinyl cutter, like a Cricut or a Silhouette, something like that though to utilize this method. So let's go over materials and uh, I'll just knock this out and be a quick video because it's not that complicated. So thank you guys for tuning in. Let's get into it. Oh hey look at that. I'm standing in the same spot. Time to go over materials. Uh, I'm going to be using acrylic paint you could use rattle can paint. You can basically use whatever paint you want. This just dries pretty quick, comes in a bunch of colors, so that's what I'm using. These little uh, dabber things I find work pretty good. I don't know what they're actually called. And then Aura Mask. This stuff is the jam. You guys have seen me use it on CNC projects. I use it on laser projects too, and then just general painting, masking stuff. This stuff works awesome. So I do have links for all this stuff below if you guys don't know where to find that. But. Let's talk about prep. So this board is 100% ready for paint. It's stained, it's all put together, it's good to go. So this is built to the same specs that I built them in my how-to video. So um, I do get a lot of questions about the stain pattern because everybody likes the stain pattern. And uh, my answer to that is get your own stain pattern. Or you can look at this, you can do something similar, but. I'm not gonna tell you exactly what it is because then everybody would be making boards the exact same way that I do. Um, but yes, so I'm going to mask off all this area with the Aura Mask. Um, I'm gonna use two sheets of it. This is 12 inches wide, so I'm gonna have a decent overlap in the middle, but I want this whole area covered because the logo is pretty big in there. So I'm gonna mask that off and then uh, I'll take you over to the software and explain how I'm gonna do these layers and it would be the exact same way on a Cricut or a Silhouette. Software and equipment, let's talk about it. I'm using Lightburn software, that's the best. If you're using a CO2 laser, I don't know why you'd be using any other software because it's super easy and it's awesome. Um, laser wise, I'm using an Ohmtech 130 watt laser. It has a 35 by 55 bed capacity. Um, I have an affiliate link below, so if you've been thinking about getting a laser and you wanna help me out a little bit, I do get a little kickback from that. Um, overall, the laser, just to give my two cents, it requires some maintenance, it requires you to put in some work, um, but you're not gonna be able to get a laser of this size at the same price point. But on that same note, you don't need this big of a laser to make this happen, because most of the lasers have pass-through doors, so you can print or uh, engrave on things that are bigger than the print area, because they've got the little doors right here that drop down. Enough about that, set up on this i ran a little registration mark on just some blue painters tape prior to putting the board in here the bed was raised up much higher when i did that then i lowered it back down so i have a nice little line scored in this tape so i can position the four by two board right where it needs to go so let's go over into the software i'll just explain what i'm so here's the image right everything's loaded into light burn here um, sideways because that is my cut area from here 
to over here is 55 inches, so I gotta put it that way. But this is the image. Luckily for this go round, um, it's only gonna require two, the laser working twice, because it's only three colors. So we got black, we've got yellow, and we got a little white here in the eyes. So the first step is to cut out all of the aura mask around this outside here. This is gonna be the black background, so I'm gonna cut that and it's the same thing if you're using when prior to this method um, Jamie was handling all the painting and she was using her Cricut and I think it's Cricut Studio and this, that's the same thing so she would look at whatever image we are trying to print onto the boards or paint onto the boards excuse me and she took all of the different colors and figured out how many layers she needed to make and then she would print off those individual layers and put them on the board, paint, and then line the next layer up. So she would go on top and try to line it up. And she got very good at it, um, a lot more tedious, because I'm going to cut this, this first layer, paint it. I'm gonna leave it right here because the paint dries super fast. Then I'm gonna put one more sheet of ore mask over it and cut out the next section. And I'll be able to paint the yellow and the white at the same time because they don't intersect. And bada bing, bada boom. It'll be done and ready for finish. So enough of me blabbing. I know you want to just see this thing cut. Um, I think that's it. One last thing when I'm doing this, I'm not using air assist because it. I, when I did it on a practice piece, it was just blowing the aura mask up. So um, no fires have occurred with the air assist off doing it like this. But um, yeah, I probably wouldn't leave the air assist on. It does smell. You kind of burn in plastic, so you don't want to be standing over the laser and just <gasps> inhaling all the stuff it ain't good for you so let's uh cut this out get the painting Sorry if it's a little louder in here, I got the fan and the chiller on now, um, but there it is, the base layer. I'm going to let that completely dry. Um, it should only take maybe 10-15 minutes, but I'll probably hit it with another coat just to make sure it's good to go. Um, so for the sake of time, I have the other board already ready to paint the next layer, so I'll just move over to that one. But once the paint is completely dry, look at your design, it might require you to mask over it completely. With this one, I don't have to. I can just run one sheet horizontally because all of the other colors are located in the lower area here. So once it dries, mask it just the way you did the first time and repeat. Um, if you're doing the silhouette or a cricket method, all of your design should have this outline on it. That way when you're putting layers, you can reference this outline and just stack them on top of each other. So um, even if you were doing this one, you'd probably just have two, two stencils that were cut on uh, the Cricut. Your design might have to be a little smaller because you're limited to the width of those machines, which I think is 12 inches. Um, but yeah, you get the idea. Let's get the yellow and the white painted on this other one.
All right, y'all. Peeled the mask off. <clears throat> I had a few little touch-ups to do. Just use a small paintbrush to make it happen. But there they are. Pretty dang good. Um, so like I said at the beginning of the video, you can use this method with a vinyl cutter like a Cricut or a Silhouette. You just have to make sure in your software you're making the correct layers and lining everything up. With the laser, I don't have to worry about lining it up. I just cover it back over and then cut the next layer. And, uh, it's pretty simple there. So I'm going to be putting polycrylic finish on this. Um, probably two, three coats. I use polycrylic just because it doesn't change the color of anything. Um, and if you put multiple coats on, it's a pretty good finish. It's not an outdoor finish. It's rated for indoor, but as long as you take care of your boards and don't leave them outside in the pouring rain, you're going to be fine. So I'm going to put that finish on here. Then I got to install the lights that go around the hole on the back side. But that's a wrap. I'll leave a link for the lights below too. They work awesome. They just take a couple batteries. They stick right to the bottom of the board. And it's good to go. Um, so that's it. Thank you guys so much. If you got any questions, leave them below. I'll try to get to them when I can. And then... Um, most of the materials for this are in the description through my Amazon links. I do get a little kickback for that if you guys buy it from there. And then um, if you want the laser, again, the referral code and link is down below. It's a good laser. Probably uh, about to pick up a second one, a smaller one, just so I can be running multiple things at once. But it's cool. It definitely has multiple purposes. And the big one, it's nice that I can just fit the whole board in there at one time and, and make it happen. So thank you guys. I apologize for the sporadic videos coming out. We just got a lot going on right now with uh, our house, our regular jobs, this. We're prepping to take this full time super soon. So um, there's just a lot of moving pieces going on and I haven't been as active on social media. I wanted to knock this one out for you guys since so many of you had asked how I paint the boards. This was my first time doing this method. and uh, I knew it was gonna be basically the same steps as using the Cricut. So, Jamie used to do all the painting, but uh, I think I can take it from here. These look pretty good. So, As always, thank you guys for watching. If you're not subscribed to the channel already, I would appreciate it if you do so. If you like the video, give me a thumbs up. And uh, if you got any feedback or just want to say hello, drop a comment. Thanks, guys. I'll see you on the next video.